Fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what is your love interest and next action towards you. For those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. And today is the 27th of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 1.42 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for fire signs. And if you were to find a guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same fire sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What is your love interest next action towards fire signs? Magician, a bit of a manipulative energy here. The magician, the five of swords. So your love interest. It feels like for a lot of you, but some of you, maybe this is someone you've already ended the connection with, or in the midst of walking away from this person. And for some of you, this could be someone relatively new, because two aces here can indicate a new connection. I think uh, fire signs. Your love interest with Ace of Swords here is going to tell you the truth. They're going to communicate with you. Um, and then the King of Pentacles here in my verse and the Three of Wands. They're going to want to talk about the future. They go, they, they're going to want to talk about commitment with the King of Pentacles in my verse. I think they, they're going to be saying certain things where it's, although it's, it's you know, Ace of Swords. The Swords in that bright position indicates honesty clear communication right however with the magician here and magician is a major arcana so it will trump the minor so what i'm seeing here is that it's this person is going to appear telling you the truth appear okay telling you the truth but actually they could be it feels a bit like i don't think this is gonna work the full in reverse but it's a reverse psychology because of the magician here, okay? Again, this is one, two, yeah. There are two major counters. This is in reverse, temperance in reverse. For me, it indicates maybe this is, they seem to be telling you the truth or that they may say to you that, you know, um, this is what I really want. Um, this is what I'm really thinking. But it may not be complete truth. It feels like a manipulation or, um, it feels like a reverse psychology kind of thing because deep down with the temperance in my verse they're not actually feeling good about saying these things to you because it may not completely be the truth and the fool here in my verse maybe this person doesn't want to make a fool out of themselves so they could be saying something to you to make them not look like they were foolish or desperate I guess the three of wands here can indicate maybe they could be waiting for you to actually do something about it or initiate or say it's just an example okay fire signs i'm just gonna give you an example for example um for example you know how you have one of those friends who will always tell you um oh i look so fat and in stress i feel so fat today just so that their friends are gonna tell them or convince them that no you're not you look great babe you know <laughs> so it's just to gain they're, they're something like pointing out their flaws like with ace of swords here although the flaws may be true but it feels as though it feels as though like they're telling the truth about their flaw but the intention behind it is not really hundred percent um genuine because the magician here again it feels like it's some tactics it's like manipulation in a way just for reassurance sake 
It's just like somebody says to somebody, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, or wife, oh, you don't love me anymore. And then, and just to get that reaction so that they will, they will reply, they will reply, of course I love you, you know? Why would you say that? That kind of an energy that I'm getting here, fire signs. So your person's next action towards you, your love interest's next action towards you is just to point something out here with eight swords that may seem to be very clear very obvious but the reason behind it is so that you would contradict it it's so that you would say no it is not true or no no i do want you or no i do i don't mind it you don't look fat or you don't look too skinny or you don't look ugly or your hair looks good i'm just giving an example here okay so that's the intention that i'm picking up on and the energy that i'm picking up on in this spread right here so with the ace of pentacles that like you would offer them reassurance or offer them something to them that is valuable no matter it's in, you know, um, in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't really matter. But we've got the Eight of Cups here. So they may tell you, oh, I'm done. I'm walking away. I've already moved on. For some of you, if you're separated from this person, or I'm, or I'm actually leaving, just so to kind of push you off the edge a little bit with Ace of Pentacles so that you would say something to them, either to reassure them or to offer them a commitment. That's what I'm getting here because again, five of swords you can indicate deception. So two cards here. That that's that's the vibe I'm picking up on uh, fire signs. Let's see more. Yeah, four of wands in reverse, page of cups in reverse, seven of swords in reverse. See, it's like hiding in plain sight kind of energy as well that I'm getting here. Again, it feels like someone is pointing out something and making it clear this is what I'm going to do. But actually, it's so that you would say, no, don't do it. That kind of energy. Don't walk away or don't change anything about yourself. Or I don't mind if you're this way or that way. I don't mind if you have baggages. I don't mind this and that, this and that. So this is what I'm getting here, fire size for for the most part and then we've got the nine of wands you maybe this person is scared right of rejection and five of cups here is a reverse this person is holding on to some hope that maybe you would accept them for who they are or whatever that comes with them the four wands in reverse indicates a shaky foundation a separation for some of you if you're separated from this person i see them maybe manipulating you by telling you something ace of swords something that's gonna like kind of stab you as the truth or at least they may make it seem like it's a tr it's the truth just to kind of hurt you a little bit put you down a little bit queen of wands here more first pretending that they are doing better than you are or pretending that um it's a pretentious energy magician here i'm sorry but yeah i just feel like they're gonna pretend like okay i'm done or or that i'm happy without you you have been a mistake you see all these things because sword is a very cutting energy so this person may say something to kind of cut you uh, or stab you in your heart here in the midst of walking away or if they've already walked away from you okay Unless, you, unless you're the one who has walked away from this person. So they're going to say something to hurt you. That's what I'm getting here. This kind of reminded me of this story my friend just told me recently. She's going through a separation with the husband. And the husband was being extra nice to her when she asked for a divorce. But then... Um, well, he wasn't nice at first and then he became nice just to convince her to not get the divorce. But then but then she said, no, it's too late. And then he became mean again 
the mean things he said were so mean, like you're nothing without me, you are zero, and yada yada yada. So I feel like fire signs, it's like a bit of provoking energy here as well, especially if you're separated from this person or on the way to separation. They're going to say something just to hurt you because they are hurt themselves with the nine of wands here. So it's a very childish behavior, page of cups in lovers, because your connection with this person is now very rocky, it's not stable. And you should know as well, fire signs, seven of swords in lovers, this, I think you'll get an inkling, like your gut feeling is gonna tell you that they are kind of faking it, you know this person's true colors with the seven of swords here in love first. Because this person relies on you now, pentacles in love first, depending on you. But you may depend on this person either or. I think this this storyline is just for those of you if you're separated on your or on your way to separation from this person. If this is someone relatively new, fire signs, they will tell you the truth about their past mistakes. Um, but they could also be hiding something because of the magician here and the five of swords. Because it's still very new in the game. It feels like I can tell her or him the truth. I can tell fire signs the truth, but I cannot absolutely tell everything yet. Because I'm still kind of watching. I'm still not 100% sure. Because our connection is still very new. So there's something that I feel that they're still kind of holding back and not wanting to tell you. Because afraid that you will like feel put off and walk away from them. If this is someone new. But they will talk to you, Ace of Swords, as much as they can to tell you the truth about something. Perhaps for some of you if you're involved in a third party situation, your, your love interest has somebody else. They may take actions towards that third party. They may cut that third party off because the Queen of Wands here is in love first. And then offer you a commitment telling you that they are walking away from the third party, that they are done. Yeah, we've got three of wands here as well. And that it is all done, seven of swords in love verse, that they could be telling the third party about you. And then leave the third party and offer you a commitment. This is just for some of you, yeah. Again, the roles can go vice versa. Take care, fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If you like to watch more of these videos that I post every single day, even a couple of times a day with different topics and different questions, each video is just like about 10 minutes long or a little bit longer. But um, yeah, you can binge watch them on this playlist. It's titled Daily Readings. If you can't see it on the screen right now, you can click on videos. And scroll all the way down, you can see all of the latest videos that I've posted. And the difference about my channel and the rest of the tarot channel is that I post very often, but my videos are shorter and with different topics and different questions because I get bored easily and I don't want to do the same type of reading every single day over and over and over again. I just want to mix things up. So... Um, there's all, there are always some new questions that I will come up with whenever I feel inspired or if I see something and I feel like, hey, I want to ask this question today for my subscribers. So that's what I, I do on this channel. All right. So check them out and you can, again, binge watch it if you want to on that playlist, daily readings or videos. And um, last but not least, well, second last but not least, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I've added a few more options, including the emergency reading options option. And yeah, obviously it's a way more accurate um, to do a personal reading than a you know general reading. So if you're interested, send me an email. I'll send you details. My email address is in the description box below. And the pricing, everything is also in the description box below. Um, and last thing i'm gonna leave you with the last one playlist as well on the screen this playlist is titled asia it's from my second channel i document my travel vlogs but i haven't posted in eight months already i think or nine months <laughs> because i've been way too busy with this uh with this channel but anyway take care fire signs i hope to see you back here 
again maybe later or tomorrow take care bye